Hello friends, for today's challenge I will be playing against a 2660 MMR Protoss player, but I will be playing with oven mitts on. Um, so, first of all, it makes it fairly difficult for me to click. You can see they're relatively big. Um, I haven't practiced with them, although I did try typing with them a little bit earlier and well, did not go that well. Being precise is difficult, but in StarCraft 2, especially with the keyboard hand, you don't actually have to be that precise. People don't realize this, but as long as you're somewhere around where you want to be clicking, it's all good. This is going way better than I thought it would. Look, it automatically built because I accidentally clicked something that has a rapid fire hotkey in there. And this is great. This is better than my usual games. Hoppa! Cheeky chrono boost as well. I absolutely love to see it. It's gonna rally over here. My mouse hand feels insanely accurate. Uh, I am starting to get a little bit sweaty inside of, inside of the oven mitt. Uh, there's some uh, danger to slip in there for my hand right now. Uh, probably on the second gateway as well. So far my build order is looking as... Well. Am I being cannon rushed? You can't be serious, right? Yeah, <laughs> he's like, wait, wait, is this guy serious? Yeah, I'm serious, man. Everything's going fine here. Look at this. Hoppa. I'm pretty quick, honestly. Wait. He proxy nexus me? Yeah, that surely is not a good build. I've never seen this build before, actually. Well, that's not completely true. I've seen something like this before, but I don't actually believe this is a very good strategy. Now, I could be wrong, of course. My years of StarCraft II experience have told me that sometimes you are wrong. I'm afraid of control grouping stuff. I'm going to try anyway, because the control groups are so close to the escape. It's only 15 centimeters away. And I might actually push it down with my massive mids. Okay, there we go. Two stalkers. I built something else accidentally. Oh, that's this one. There we go. Oh yeah, I don't have uh, camera hold keys, of course. I was like, why does my F1 not do anything? I'm starting to lose grip of my mouse as well. It, it's becoming harder and harder. Building a pylon. So he proxied the Nexus in my main base, then build a pylon in my natural. Surely this is not actually a viable build order. If this is a viable build order, I'll be playing it from now on out because this looks extremely interesting. Okay, this is done at least. Um, maybe I want this like, in case he recalls something into my main base. Surely that's the plan, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh yeah, here he comes. That's kind of a cool build, actually. Oh, a move, please. Why is my aim move so bad? This is an insane build order. Uh oh, I think I might actually be losing to this crap. No? Uh, no, I'm not. No, who am I kidding? Super battery is about to finish up. And just like that, <laughs> we're going to be winning this game. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> I bought these oven mitts <laughs> for a 3 minute <laughs> and 27 second game. God, I don't quite understand the pylon on the low ground. I guess he just needed a pylon and decided might as well just build it there. <laughs> this is such a stupid game. I can't believe this is... this. Is, I mean, it makes sense to have like some weird type of strategy. You know, I, I do have a, a handicap. I can't really do everything that I want to. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, that way. Get some of these. I do have these oven mitts now. I can actually start using my oven. That's the one thing the one thing stopping me in the past few years. No oven mitts. Taking stuff out of your oven without these bad boys is very difficult. Oh, did I add it? I added it! I used shift and one to add this stalker into my control group and it worked. My favorite part is that most of my buildings I don't even need to click. Because the moment I press the hotkey for building them, I also press... Hello? No. <laughs> I want to build a nexus. Oh, in my thumb, maybe. I just build it at once. That's sick. Um, okay, control group. Oh, I also have this. I have a mouse hotkey that is my all army hotkey. The A move and the stop command are so close to one another that it's actually an issue as well. Oh, there we go. Oh no, I accidentally un unhotkeyed all of my crap. It's 
Let me go in here. Let me shoot this building. Let me shoot this building. Let me just continue going. Yeah, my, my mouse hand feels relatively good. GG, well played. <laughs> well played. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, a win for the man with the mitts. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Beautiful stuff. Um, yeah, first win of the day. Great. Glad to have played this. <laughs> Alrighty, this time the challenge is going to be rather simple. And when I say rather simple, I mean that the setup of the challenge is rather simple because actually winning this is going to be rather difficult. I'll be playing against a diamond three player, I believe here, or diamond two player from North America, while at the same time also playing against a cheater two elite AI insane, which means that um, they get more resources when mining and also have full vision of all my units. So I'm playing a two versus one. On top of that, I am not allowed to attack Kenosua until I kill the cheater AI. So basically Kenosua has free game to do whatever the heck he wants until I take out the cheater AI. And taking out the cheater AI by itself is already going to be difficult. And even if I manage to do that, I have difficulty seeing how I will manage to take Kenosua out afterwards because he should be capable of just, you know, going up to whatever he wants. I just built slightly too many workers, which I'm not super fond of. We'll open this up with uh, one of the builds that I found out that works really well in two versus one. And that is a quick 18 Nexus here. We'll get a cybernetic score as well. Okay, there's nothing here yet. Okay, he's also not being scouted. Okay, this is the one base, of course, where no one is. That's my luck. 66% uh, chance of finding someone at your first scout, and I get no one. You just love to see it. It's absolutely fabulous. I think I want a, a bit of a wall in my natural, by the way. And at the same time, I'm also... Okay, freaking scouted here. I don't want... A, a salad, I think. It messes too much with my early game. Okay, what is this? Kenozua, Gate, Cyber. Probably is gonna go into a Nexus from here on out. Maybe opens this up with a with a Stargate, actually, seeing that. Now we're gonna go in towards the Cheater AI's territory. Cheater AI doesn't need this. Okay, doesn't need the scout, is what I was gonna say, because he has vision of my units. Luckily for me, the Cheater AI is a complete moron. And we'll scout anyway, despite having map hack. I'm not sure if this means that his teammate also has a map hack, or if it's just the cheater AI. Okay, there's no... No, nothing here. This is a really fast factory. Okay, uh, it could be a couple of things. I am, by the way, allowed to defend. So, um, I can do whatever I want defensively. That is completely fine. So if I'm being attacked by Kenozua, I can attack his units. I don't know what this is, but it's pissing me off already. It really is. But what is that worker doing there? Is he gonna go back to scout right now or what? Nice attempt. Oh, actual micro. Somewhat surprised by that, honestly. Like, actually, somewhat surprised by it. There's no base yet here. Oh my god, he has so many units. Being an actual cheater comes with many advantages. I mean, the map hack is nice, but. Just having six times more units than you normally have also is quite good. Technically, this this pretty much feels like a, a two and a half versus one because he's getting so many resources, right? Now, the one nice thing for me so far is that I believe he's playing a one base build. So if I hold that one base build, maybe I can counter attack. Come on, finish this, buddy. I know you want to. I know you want to finish that. That was a mistake. As most things that uh, diamond players do are mistakes. And we're going to get a free kill here. I want to probably... Oh, I thought I already started my uh, my Immortal, but apparently I hadn't. I'm going to follow this up with a quick third base going straight away into Colossi. Uh, another thing I'm somewhat afraid of, of course, is those early Oracles. They could really mess with me if they do end up happening. But then he will need to open up with an Oracle. If he doesn't open up with an Oracle, then, you know, I'm not too worried. That looks somewhat scary. Luckily for me, I'm getting a an Immortal. And also, luckily for me, AIs are actual idiots. Well, as they say that... Oh my god. Okay, here's the first Oracle. Not the cleanest control out of my opponent, but... Did manage to kill at least something there. 
I almost feel like I want to counterattack here immediately. But do I really want that? The problem with ha doing a straight up counterattack right now is that I'm not entirely sure if I can kill him. And if I can't kill him and the oracles come in, like this is just a massive issue, right? Like I'll be fighting over here, two oracles fly in or even the DT moves in. I'm just pretty much dead. So I'm going to play it a little bit calmer. I'm just going to macro up a tiny tad more. Now I'm probably being outmined by both players at the same time at this point, which pisses me off a little bit. Um, I was actually gonna go into Colossi, but now that I think about it, perhaps Disruptors are better. Oh my god, there's a lot of units again already. One of these. <sighs> what is this crap? Engineering bay. This what? Three barracks. Two eBays. It's getting pretty decent upgrades. Four barracks. Probably has a Nexus or a Natural as well over here. One of these. Okay, it's not quite done yet. Oh my god, this is a huge army. How is that possible? Is it actually double the amount of money that a normal person gets? Or I don't actually know what the what the deal is with this. Oh. This is bad. This is really quite bad. Ooh! For him. Lol. Yeah, that felt very good for me, honestly. And we're gonna start moving out across the map after the revelation wears off. It's an important after. Okay, this is still his army. Um, maybe I want a forge as well. I was thinking about that. The thing that a forge actually gets me is that it allows me to get cannons as well. Oh, technically could lose that. At the same time, I can also just run away. And he will die at high speed. Hop! There we go. Also does not manage to get off a, uh, a revelation there. I am afraid of my opponent just playing mass stargate units, by the way. That is a... Uh, a real worry of mine. Oh, I actually did get a revelation now. Didn't quite expect that. Come here. How good are you? Oh, very nice. Phoenixes. It's actually not a bad choice, but the thing with Phoenixes is, is that you need to micro them, which might be an issue. So far, I kind of like the thought here. Like, wait, is this being dropped or what is this? Where's the rest of the army? I was moving out on the map. Like, Phoenixes need to come to the rescue here right away. This is good splits, by the way. I'm somewhat surprised, huh? Hmm. Fort base. Don't forget, I can't attack uh, the Phoenix man yet. Phoenix man probably should either be harassing me or just going straight for the kill here. What is this? That's an oracle. Phoenixes are out of position completely right now, which is huge. Come here, buddy. Beautiful. No stim yet. I think I'm going to be able to kill my opponent here. Oh, no. Okay, maybe maybe I wasn't going to be capable of killing my opponent here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. It's so tricky to figure out what's the correct play here. I really thought that I could do something there, but I definitely was wrong. I mean, I lost absolutely everything. We have a second forge right now. We're going to get some uh, extra upgrades going. Yes, come on. Kill these workers. At the same time, lose your oracle. That's beautiful stuff for me. I really like the thought that this uh, Protoss player has, by the way. This seems like one of the better thought-out challenges. He's like, okay, if I just get enough phoenixes out... Eventually, there needs to be such a large anti-Phoenix force. Like, the amount of resources that I'm investing to deal with the Phoenixes is going to become so big that um, even if this Terran is just on two bases, eventually the Terran most likely is just going to kill me because, you know, just too much money. At the same time, he's probably, a, like, the Phoenix Man is probably expanding to, like, seven, eight bases. Um, is getting upgrades for air units as well. Like, we already see... Plus one, four phoenixes at a time. This is actually a huge issue. I think this is a brilliant play. This is a brilliant way of completely abusing the challenge. Now, I'm going to try and abuse a little bit as well. I hope that these um, that these AIs are not that great at having detection. Oh, never mind. That didn't quite work out. I'm super afraid, honestly. 
I also wonder what the upgrades are that uh, AI man is working with. If I lose any amount of probes at this point, by the way, I think I'm also pretty darn dead. Oh, that's beautiful. So this looks bad, and this probably also is bad. But I'm also killing a bunch of phoenixes, which is quite nice. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. I kind of want a battery here, though, don't I? Yeah, kill some workers. Don't care quite as much about that. Good defensive play by me. Take out a couple of these bad boys. Gonna get 2-2 started as well. Do I want another one of them invisible boys? I think so. Don't forget that I'm being map hacked this entire time. So at least the AI should be capable of seeing everything that I have. Pum, 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 pum. Now for being a map hacker, this guy is pretty darn bad, huh? Freaking AIs. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. We're gonna try again with a, a similar push as earlier. I think that carriers are actually a very high tier play right now. Or would be a very high tier play. Come on. I think carriers are indeed being built right now. I mean... Just nothing... Nothing else is being constructed, it feels like. Like, these Phoenix counts has been the same for a fairly long time now already. Which is bad for me. If they're like this, they're on my way. I think I'm allowed to take them out. Like, I'm not allowed to attack my opponent, but if he's idling in the middle of the map, I think this definitely is allowed now. Okay, charge has finished. I have Guardian Shield as well. Let's see if I can go. Oh my god. I don't think I actually can go, huh? The splits also aren't super bad, which pisses me off a little bit. What's that? Oh my god, that's a lot of carriers. I don't think I can win this. I unironically don't think I can win this. I see freaking units coming from everywhere as well. Which probably means I'm uber dead. Like, I can't even kill this stupid AI. He's BCs! How's that fair? Probably isn't. Oh, didn't even get that shot off. Like, once the freaking... Uh, the, the carriers join here, I think I'm just completely... I'm out, no? Unless he attacks straight into my super battery and doesn't actually bother... Killing my super... Nah, okay, it doesn't matter. Holy crap! I got completely blasted here. Honestly, no chance. That's a loss. It's 166 on 60, yeah. This was just a brilliant way to abuse it as well, honestly. Triple Stargate Phoenix going into like five Stargate Phoenix or whatever it was. Getting a lot of upgrades, Phoenixes to keep me busy while I'm trying to kill this player. I think at some point I had a chance. If I didn't throw away that first army, it felt like maybe this army. This is where it really went wrong, no? So here I have 114. My opponent has 97. I think I almost had it here. I really believe I almost had it. If I can keep my disruptor count high... And get like 10 more stalkers first. Then maybe I can actually do it. Oi, 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 oi. Alright. Well, that's what it is. GG's. That's going to be it for today's episode of the Challenge Them. If you believe that you have a better challenge, be sure to leave one in the Discord, not in the comments. Do leave a comment as well what you thought of today's challenges. If you want to be seeing these oven mitts again in the future. And uh, yeah, hit the like button as well. Thank you and bye bye.